BMW 10 Pro. <laughs> Hello, officer. Nothing suspicious over here. Very cold outside. the ace beam today ace beam included the uh, mouse pad wow that is incredible similar actually almost identical to the original w10 and w10 gen 2 as you can see on the w35 and the r i'm sorry m2s from Jetbeam. so this is the ace beam w10 pro or could be considered the w10 gen 3 a true tactical lep due to the fact that it only has two modes turbo and strobe that's it 750 lumens of white laser light and 750 lumens of strobe. So it does have an interesting two-stage electronic switch that allows for quick access to momentary turbo and constant on. To access the strobe mode, you basically just double click the E switch in the back. Um, Frequency is probably around 15 Hertz, uh, although Ace Beam doesn't specify the rate. And then you lightly press the switch to get into your momentary turbo, and then you just click it once for constant on. So this light does come with a five amp hour 21700, as with most Ace Beams nowadays. The length of this light is 153 millimeters and the width is 34 millimeters, weighing about 7.5 ounces. I personally like Ace Beam's packaging. I think their boxes and their packaging is probably some of the best in the industry. There may be many people that just buy these things and then throw the box away. Maybe not actual flashlight enthusiasts, but I think I speak for most flashlight enthusiasts. Uh, these boxes are worthy of keeping pretty much forever. I only use pocket clips on dedicated EDCs like this. I'm just not a fan of pocket clips because they tend to scratch the light up. The holster actually protrudes outward a little bit, so when you put the light in there, I would assume that's... Yeah, okay, so it goes in head first. And this little protrusion outward of the uh, holster kind of seats it nice and snug inside the holster itself. So pretty cool. I'm probably not going to use the holster anyways. I just kind of stick him in my back pocket. This little side box, I don't even really have to open it because it tells you right here. Instruction manual, spare O-rings, charge port, USB. Well, that doesn't even look like C, but oh yeah, I guess it is. Okay, let's see. And then of course you have your lantern. So, so as you know, there's really only two ways to emit LEP light. You have basically a shine through and then you have a, a side firing onto an optic or a reflector. So of course the old, uh, the old M2S um, and actually the W35 all use shine through where that phosphor crystal is seated within the light. And then on the old M2S, it's the exact same way. And then this is the side firing onto the crystal or I'm sorry, the mirror down into the crystal. Um, just like the first generation W10 also used this method too. It is fantastic as with pretty much every ace beam. Uh, these actually look like little chip marks, but of course it's just the, uh, the camo anodizing is all that is. I have not dropped this light, so <laughs> not yet. I actually contacted ace beam, uh, to find out more information about the module that's being used. But of course they didn't have as much information as I wanted them to have, but 
So the amount of blue laser light emitted by the laser module isn't listed on the spec sheet, of course, and Ace Beam doesn't really post the details about the internals of the module. A teardown is the only way to really know for sure. This is information that used to be listed on Ace Beam's website, but is no longer found. Um, I had to ask AI Overview in a very specific way to look through old web files to find it, and I got a hit because AI searches billions of files, even finding things that got removed. And I found exactly what I remember seeing many years ago, uh, when the W10 Gen 1 had first come out in 2018, it simply stated that the old W10 was 250 lumens at 0.22 to 0.25 watts, uh, but was later removed because of a typo. Well, this actually wasn't a typo, but I'm not going to get into the reason why they removed it. But unless LEPs have gotten more efficient through better phosphor emission, then that means most LEPs are about 1.064 lumens per milliwatt or 0 0.94 uh, milliwatts per lumen on average. So that basically means the laser module inside the Ace Beam W10 Pro is right around 705 milliwatts. That would put this flashlight at a class four laser product. So we'll take this thing outside and we'll show you what it can do. And we'll go ahead and compare it to a couple other LEPs that I have. M2S on the left and W10 Pro on the right. It doesn't seem like there's that big of a difference, but at least on camera, in person, the W10 Pro is much brighter. M2S, W10 Pro. There's the M2S. It's hard to tell on camera which one's actually brighter. The W10 Pro is definitely a lot brighter. So there's the M2S. W10 Pro, W10 Pro, M2S, M2S, W10 Pro, 